Hi students, the second part of my previous lecture, I told you how we can convert indeterminate form to the determinate form. Now we check more examples. If a question sin inverse x divided by x, limit x approaches to 0. You can see here, if I put limit here, we get 0 over 0 form. Okay, according to the rule, take the derivative of numerator and then take the derivative of denominator. So, firstly, I am going to take the derivative of sin inverse x, that is 1 over square root 1 minus x square, and the derivative of x, that is 1, and the derivative of this x is 1. Now, you can put the limit, you will get the answer, that is 1. Another example, we have a two polynomial, one of the second degree, and the other one is the four degree, and even x approaches to infinity. You can see here, if I put the limit of both the polynomials, we get infinity over infinity form. So again, I am using here the DL operator rule. Take the derivative of numerator and take the derivative of denominator separately. Then take the derivative of this polynomial, you get 10x minus 10 because 15 is a constant quantity, the derivative of the constant is 0. And the derivative of this polynomial is minus 12 x ray plus 10. Again, when I put the limit, we get infinity over infinity form. So now, you can apply the whole time dl Mobiter rule. Take the derivative of this polynomial that is 10. The derivative of this polynomial in denominator is minus 36 x square. Now you can put the limit. 10 over infinity will give you the 0 answer. A question for practicing tan theta minus sin theta divided by sin cube theta when theta approaches to 0 it is also indicated as 0 over 0 form when you put the limit you can um, simplify at your home for the practicing using the real formula rule now another question sin inverse x plus sin inverse x divided by x when x approaches to 0 this is a 0 over 0 form you can see no factorization method no rationalization method no real method you can apply here. So, when you figure all the method, you can apply the rule. Take the derivative of the numerator, take the derivative of the denominator, but separately. We will not apply the Gaussian truth. The derivative of sin inverse x, 1 over square root 1 minus x square, the derivative of x is 1 plus, or the derivative of tan inverse x is 1 over 1 plus x square, and the derivative of this x is 1, and the derivative of this x is 1. Now you can apply the limit and simplify, you will get answer is 2. Very important question, so many exams, which appears so many exams. First of all, you have to convert this degree in the form of the radian. So, x degree convert into the radian x by the quantity. So, now you can apply the limit, this is 0 over 0 form. Again, take the derivative of numerator and denominator separately. What is the derivative of numerator? That is 4x y divided by 180. And the derivative of the angle, the derivative of this angle is 5 over 180. The derivative of this x is 1. Now you can put the limit here, you will get 5 over 180. Another important question sin x over pi minus x. Uh, in your previous classes, you solve this question using the substitution method. But in the entrance exam, you have no time for putting the substitution. You can apply the real operator. You can check when I put here, when I put the limit pi, the weighted and denominator will get 0 over 0 form. Take the derivative of sin x, you will get all x, and take the derivative of pi minus x, this will become minus 1. When you put the limit, you can see cos pi minus 1, minus minus, which is equal to 1. Thank you very much.